Hey, you going, Virgo? We're going to do you a quick reading, and um, I'll do everything on camera. We'll start from fresh, so that way you can see everything. Nothing set up beforehand, so that way you can see all the messages that come out. We'll be using reversals as well, and we'll see what comes out. These two cards are the energy. This is the unconscious, the conscious. This one's the outcome. This one's the uh, hopes and fears. This one's the outside feelings, uh, the world, the way that people see you. That's the heart of the matter. That's the future. That's the past. And that. Ooh. There's something strong in the future. We got something devilish from the past. All right, so we can see that already. But we use reversals in these, so um, it should give us a clear identification as to what's going on. Let's so, so we'll set it up, make sure it's all there for you. And then that way it can all come in the way it's supposed to. Three wants two on the last, three gets two on the last. Your card is in reverse on the past, so it shows. Um, that you've gone well within your shadows, okay? It was fated, whatever was in the past here. But that's the underlying energies, okay? So you've gone well within your soul to know uh, what in the what's in the past here. So you've released the shadows, if that makes sense, in order to be you. And it does show that they're thoroughly as you're manifesting into your universe with clear communication. But yeah, we'll have a look, all right? Now, the way that I do the readings is you, that's the reading right there in front of us, right? And I'll clarify here with this deck here as to the past and the future. Okay, to make sure that what's coming out is coming out. Okay, and then right at the end, we'll grab this deck, this fresh new deck here in itself, and we will clarify every single thing to make sure. So we've got four decks going to make sure everything, and one of them's in reverse as well, so that way you can see reversals to give clear identification as to what's going on. Right, we're going to get started into the reading, okay, but something from the past is not good for you. Okay. The person you're dealing with in the past is... um. There was no love there for starters. Okay, divine judgment has been laid. You're free, if that makes sense. Free to be yourself and free, free to be excited. Look at these cards. Look at these cards. Look, look, she's free. Look, they even look like the same cards. You're free to be yourself and be enthusiastic as you walk into life. Uh, but the, whatever this from the past, um, and this should resonate here with uh, what, what, what was going on from the past, is this is a type of soul who was manipulating from the past. So we'll have a look now. now. The King of Cups, the King of um, the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who is very fake, obsesses over riches. Okay, they can indeed they in overindulge big time. Um, they they even indulge, overindulge. Um, they need to balance the material with the spiritual. So they're like they're like um just fake. It's the best way to say that fake. Okay. Because they're going to present the world that they're rich when they're not, if that makes sense. So they're fake in whatever they are. And they definitely are over obsessed on riches. Okay. And it shows you that there underneath that card of that, that exact card is, is a two of cups in reverse. So it shows there's no love there. Two of cups is love in itself, but it shows that there's no love there because it's in reverse. Okay. So the, the type of person you were dealing with was an emotional block to you. They were not open to receive love. They were disharmony in your relationship. Their unions were disrupted by cheating, uh, third parties, uh, multiple karmics in the relationship. Could be mother-in-law, father-in-law, something, okay? But it gives, there was separation there for, it says it's straight up separation in itself. So it shows that it gives you a chance to heal and it shows divine judgment has been laid. Spirit knows your heart most to be true, but you're free now to be enthusiastic about the world you're living in. Yeah, they're coming back in, man. You've got justice on your side. You can see justice is on your side because that's a justice card with divine judgment. Okay, and you can see that there was naive love. Okay, that's definitely you're definitely dealing with a player in some sort of way. The justice in the future, we'll see it in the future, like Spirit saying in the background now, will be some sort of new love coming in, okay, to offer love, okay, and that's the justice. But what you're dealing with in the past was somebody who missed the sign, somebody not open to love. It's come out the different card again. Um, a player, a jealous partner, somebody very moody, sulking. They have ne negative emotions that block your progress. It says it again in all three cards in theory. So whatever that is, is manipulation in itself, okay? It made you very, very, very sad, okay? Very sad. But you do have something coming in in the way of love, and it's and it's there. But the Spirit's saying whatever this is from the past, let it go down the drain, okay? You already have in itself because you're enthusiastic, but it does show that there's, there's big manipulation there in some sort of way, okay? Because coming into the future, your heart is so strong, it's beautiful. See the success that's coming into the future and the happiness and positivity coming in um, into the families and stuff like that. But your heart is very strong and it needs to be protected. You're nobody's sacrifice, if that makes sense, especially as you plan into your future in itself. So you've got something you can't see coming into the way of love, okay? And it's going to be a night shining armor of love and that is your justice. But whatever that was on that side here, uh, from the past was manipulating you in some sort of way, okay? And it was definitely a player with some sort of naive love. 
coming into the uh, future is four oh, beautiful man because there's look you've got something coming into the future it's a king of cups okay it's going to be a beautiful love okay and that's the best you can't see it at the present moment because it's in the other scene and then he's looking straight ahead okay and then yeah but the love from the past is like looking back it's like going back into the future you see in itself the home it's in reverse here yeah they already stabbed you in the back there's a ten of swords in itself and it's upright too so whatever that is in the past really stabbed you in the back and it stopped you from having that level of ascension because everything here is going into the future of these two cards and we'll have a look in the past in a second but it does show um that you have something that's going to ascend you in the way of love coming in and it's your justice for the dickhead or the, whatever you put up with her unforeseen we haven't turned the cards yet unforeseen in the past here in itself okay so we're gonna have a look now and have a look at the past yeah man it was fated man it was fated to end that it was fated you've got karma on your side which is beautiful Okay, karma is on your side, but they they are they're passionate, that's for sure. They're a passionate soul. They're very passionate. Very passionate soul, that's for sure. And it shows it there. But you you and yourself, okay, you have fate on your side. So it shows that you are a boldly person who expresses themselves, okay, and you can definitely see that there was a lot of um uh, wants here, so a lot of um inspiration and a lot of uh power and intensity. Okay, and it does show you're building your queendom, your kingdom at the present moment. You have adventure. You are building your confidence, having confidence and, and bravely pursuing your dreams into the future, especially in that type of energy here. But whatever this was from the past is, is some sort of manipulation. You've walked on your journey, okay? So it shows that, but it it also shows um, the, the, the fool in itself, the actual fool. Work very, very hard to get out of that situation by releasing it because she's working very, very hard there to release. Okay, from... Wow. Let's come back to that again. Clear communication. You're receiving clear communication, which means you know, but the person you were dealing with in the past was very ambitious, overly ambitious, okay? Um, they had misguided vision. They were not helping you build your vision. They had very explosive emotions and they were very impatient, okay? And it also shows there that there, there was a lack of communication there in the past, which is why you had to release it. Okay, and it also shows that um, the person was very cold in communication. There was no communication, very cold, very sharp. Uh, they were mean, very emotional. There was indifferences in the relationship, and you had to use your words wisely around the person. And it does show that there. Yeah, they treated you like an option, and it was fate, because we got double fate for you to release. So you see the release in between the fate cards. So good karma's on your side. I'm telling you the truth. Justice is on your side. And it shows you that there, man, you were dealing with a cheat. You were dealing with, it's either a cheater, or you were dealing with somebody who emotionally manipulated you through love emotionally manipulated you through love somebody there was that says in a different card again a breaking communication disharmony an opportunity to focus on self-love though but you were giving away your power in a relationship the loss of self yeah and there was manipulation codependency and imbalanced partnership um, not able to choose between two people it says it in the book straight up yeah there was it worked hard man you worked hard building that relationship you worked hard you worked hard building that foundation in itself and spirit does see your growth in itself but um you can definitely see they're thinking about it they're definitely thinking about it over and over again okay that's clear communication you have something coming into the future is magnificent for you but that from the past there was not in your best interest and we can see the underlying energies the whole reading on the side here is the manipulation that's they're coming back to play on that mind in some sort of way there was no growth there but spirit sees your growth and um that's beautiful in itself absolutely beautiful the one judgment has been laid man because there's the karma wheel on in itself and justice justice with judgment on your side here leading into the future to get what you want so you've got to be strong at the present moment yeah you got love coming man you can't see a knight of cups to the knight of cups you've got love coming so be strong into the future here you've got love coming so just remember that but they can't stop thinking about you over and over and over again yeah there's divine inspiration in what i'm saying at the present moment you're free to be you you ended that so you could have your freedom and be unapologetically yourself Let's have a look at the future. Yeah, man. You three of pentacles to the three of pentacles, okay? That gives to the six of pentacles as well. Six of pentacles is giving and receiving. So you didn't really get too much out of this relationship. So coming into the future, you're gonna get the, the stability you need, I suppose, and a partnership that's gonna create and work with you. Double emphasis on that, but it also puts double emphasis on the fact that you've got a love coming in that's gonna give and receive with you, if that makes sense. You've got a divine divine soul coming in in some sort of way coming into the future right? you just can't see it because these cards are unforeseen if them if that makes sense but justice is on your side so you can literally see it's on your side leading into the future yeah start planning for your future okay you've got some sort of beautiful happiness serendipity love 
flirtatiousness, something coming in in the way of love. There's divine inspiration for you and it's going to be an inspiring type of love where you communicate big time. Yeah, communication just came straight out. But yeah, it's going to be good news coming in into the future in some sort of way around love. Two of Cups is right there. And so if the Two of Cups on their side is out, so whatever that is, is out. But on your side now coming in onto the future, you've got love coming in in some sort of way. It's going to bring you towards your Ten of Cups, okay? Yes, we built a foundation over here that didn't really last the time, okay? Because you're treated like an option in some sort of way. But centered around the whole part, because we've still got a card here, card here, card here, card here. And the whole thing that's centered on this side is a new, like Ten of Cups out of the book is happiness and family. You've got exactly what you want coming at the present moment into the future itself if you whatever this is it's not going to stab you in the back because that's completed that stabbed you in the back and it's yeah, going to be very it's, yes we've got um he's in reverse over this side which so you had the whatever that was somebody fake if that makes sense but whatever's on this side is somebody who is i'll read it straight out of the book for you somebody who is kind confident material abundant personal growth a patience and determination somebody who's a kind and confident warm leader expansion with the time to level up and it does show you there the sun come out and then it's beautiful whatever's on this side is absolutely beautiful okay it's going to shock you absolutely shock your spirit says take one extra card and chuck it right next to that yeah you're manifesting it man it's you're manifesting real love look you're free at the moment okay so the person i'm talking to is free at the moment but somebody from the past is planning to come back there's the stepping off and they think they've got spirit on their side it's funny you've ended it out for a specific reason to have completion here in the future okay um we're gonna have a look at the heart yeah man whatever that was that stabbed you completely in the back okay now this is why you're enthusiastic to get out of it in itself but with that in the with that in the heart if somebody comes back to manipulate your heart Okay, because that's what a narcissist will do. They'll come back and blame you for their problems. Just remember that with cold communication. So just remember that. Whatever was in the past here, because the heart of the reading says it stabbed you in the back already. And so with these two cups, there's no love there going into the future, uh, going into the past here. But on the future side, you're going to have something inspiring, very enthusiastic, okay? very passionate coming in. Divine judgment's been laid. They may be coming back because the fact is that they may be trying to give a towel moment into your heart. If that makes sense, I need this deck here. Random card. You've ended it for a specific reason, so you could, um, because the death and rebirth come out. You've look, I shuffled the deck, it's come straight back out. Well, spirit wants it, spirit wants it, you know, it's the truth. You're free at the present moment. Somebody's coming back to play on your heart, all right? We'll see it in the world energy here, which is the world. But yeah, you've ended this out. So it's ending to the stabbing in the back leading into the future. Yes, so you can free your heart up that way. But if anybody comes back from the past, they're coming back to put a towel moment and they've stabbed you in the back already. So you've completed that out for some reason already. So you can complete that out in your heart now at the present moment, but leading into the world. Look, broken heart, man. Whatever this was stabbed you completely and utterly in the back, okay? And it really, really stabbed you in the back, okay? So Spirit's saying leading into the future, because on the future side now, it's going to have strength. There's going to be strength within your heart, okay? So Spirit's saying like um, in that world energy there that whatever's coming in here to play on your heart has already broken your heart and you've released it. So the strength in the tower is to be strong at this present moment uh, because they could be coming back to lie in some sort of way. It's going to hinder your ascension, your heart is very strong, very, very strong. Absolutely beautiful because that's a smart card. That's a smart card. Look how beautiful you are in your heart. It's beautiful. Yeah, they've already stabbed you in the back. I'm telling you in the trove. Your heart is beautiful, okay? And you've already gone to release the shadows from the past and have your transformation. So anything that comes to play on your heart, don't allow it to play on your heart because you're choosing who you are becoming and you're running towards it with conviction. And that's absolutely magnificent. But yeah, don't be blocked by self-fear either or self-doubt, okay? Leading into your world and... um. Your inner strength is just freaking beautiful. The world sees you as serenity. The world sees you as purity of your heart. So it just came out over there as well. You have the courage of a lion. It's the best way to say that. You have the courage of a lion. And that is beautiful. You're a very gifted healer because it's come out again. You have graceful leadership and um, watch out for sometimes lustful or animal instincts if that makes sense from things coming back from the past. What I'm going to do is we'll take one card and put them onto each to clarify everything thoroughly. But it does say anything coming back to play in your heart is worldly. And therefore, it needs to be released. We're going to have a look at the hopes and fears coming into the future. 
Yeah, so you can hope, see, see this in the world, the world, this broke your heart, but you can hope in the future that what's coming into the future, because the Three of Swords is in reverse, there's the Three of Swords upright underneath it, so you can see that whatever this was, was worldly, they're worldly, their material, their, their grub, their, uh, they thought more about money and things like that, okay, but what you've got manifesting into your future is pure heart, if that makes sense, see the amethyst there, is a step off in a leap of faith and journey, that's not going to break your heart in itself we'll clarify at the end there but it does show that there thoroughly as the mirror aspect of what you're trying to put out so you got see the justice here in itself the one broke your heart but then one coming into the future is going to give you the balance so that's what you can't see at the present moment but you can see that it's coming in something's coming in to offer you a cup of love man it's going to be a ten of pentacles for you it's going to be beautiful and they're not going to stab you on the back either like this one did in itself okay because those cards go hand in hand with each other right because it shows the completion that you've completed them and worked hard to end it okay because you put a lot of hard work and growth into this and it does show that they're thoroughly that they five of cups in the upright this is my reversals deck you know five of cups in the upright is sadness they come like they, they made you incredibly sad and that's where the manipulation comes in like you're blinded or bonded to them in some sort of way and have a look at the outcome and see what comes in from the outcome here in itself now spirit got me to take two cards for this one which is up there wow See, look, you've got the heart of a lion. See that? You've got something coming in into the future that's going to be very abundant for you, okay? And it might be an entrepreneurial site type of person, um, somebody who's very good in business, and it's on your side because fate is on your side. The karmic, the karmic will is on your side. Justice is on your side here, if that makes sense. So what's coming into your future in the way of love, you might not see it at the present moment. It's going to be beautiful. So we don't want the uh, person from the back to um, play on that mind, if that makes sense. Same card to the same card here as well. So your growth is beautiful, okay? You've got a family coming in because it's, it was, it, it's right here. There's the flared family in itself. You've got a family. You're about to create a family, okay? Because 333 three, three may be a number to you in some sort of way. But it does show the growth is in family as you go through, okay? So you're not trapped in that mind anymore. See, it's trapped in the mind. So when you lead off into the second, you can trust that um, as long as you put boundaries in place and know who they are, which will address your shadows, that you can step into who you are as a soul and know that um, good things are coming for you. And that's that's beautiful. You're free at the present moment. Okay, come on, judgment's been laid. It's come straight back out here in itself. But come on, judgment's been laid on how whatever that was in the past leading into the future, you got something beautiful. It's going to give you, maybe be involving marriage coming in because it's a marriage card on that side. You're free, man. Same card's coming out. You are free at the present moment. That's the energies of these here. So it's just come out twice. You're free at the moment. If that makes sense, she's free. You got pride in yourself, okay? This is inner peace. You have inner peace. No wonder you're so excited and anything from the past comes back. It's going to be shit. Okay, in the unforeseen, man, somebody's planning, somebody's going to offer you a cup of love in the future, all right? Because they're planning at the present moment or they maybe start to plan it soon because it's unforeseen at the present moment to offer you a cup of love and it's going to bring the justice from the past here in, into play, if that makes sense. But that's, oh, that's beautiful. I love that. We want to have a look at this past. Depression, sadness, it's horrible, man. Whatever this was, Spirit says grab a card from the middle of the deck and put it straight on that. So you can see it's completely random what a card pulled out because this this in the past was not good. It was manipulating you, okay? It was manipulating you in some sort of way. You have to protect your energy from the past if anybody thinks from the past comes back. I ask Spirit to give signs on synchronicities and things because I can channel Spirit. But when it comes to serious things, I ask him to give me signs in the background. And that was a sign there as soon as we said to protect your energy from the past, okay? So it does show that there thoroughly, Virgo. Um, I want to have a look at this crown because you've got something coming in. It's beautiful. You've got a legacy coming in there. You've got a Ten of Pentacles, a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, creating that beautiful legacy coming into the future. See, 333. So 333 may be something, but it's also a very universal number. Google 369, it's a beautiful number, okay? So we've got three, then that six there gives six, and then those three give the nine. So it's completions, and it's the universe on your side in some sort of way. You've got something coming in that's going to be very, very... I've got to leave that there, right? We'll turn that in a minute. But um, it's very predominant on your growth because it landed on your growth in itself. But you've got something coming in in the way of legacy, in the way of love, okay, which is going to help you communicate in, and grow. You're going to have the team working. They're going to be working together. And to be quite honest, it does look like marriage in itself. See how it looks like marriage there? And there's a marriage card underneath it with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups with somebody who knows how to love. And there's the Knight and Shining Armor of Love. If that was in reverse, it'd be different. But And this is in reverse, it'd be different because what you're dealing with here from the past, you're very enthusiastic about. 
your love is beautiful, man. Your love in your heart is magnificent. And somebody may be coming back to play on that before the before the new love comes in in some sort of way. But we've got the future over here. We've got to put a card on the future. You've had a divine divine partnership coming in. Now, before we even started, this deck here, that card came out underneath in the underlining energies, okay? So it did show that you have a divine partner coming in with communication and it's coming in fast, if that makes sense. But yeah, we're about to have a look at this heart here, man, because whatever stabbed you in the back caused a very big tower moment in your life. Be enthusiastic at the thousand moment. You ended it out for a specific reason. Now it puts emphasis to why you're enthusiastic, if that makes sense, because you just you would never take that back. It, that broke your heart thoroughly because it's in the world here. Your heart's so beautiful. You know that. That's why you, That's why we don't even see it up here in the fears because you know you wouldn't take that back because it's silly to take that back because you have a 10 of cups coming and that's what you're hoping for and you know that in yourself. Yeah, you've got, it's right here. You've got a 10 of cups coming with a beautiful 10 of legacy with communication, love. It's right there in the center of the whole thing. It's coming into your future. So that's your hopes at the present moment. It won't break your heart, okay? And it's divine inspiration. It's beautiful love. And so it's going to shock the shit out of you. It's the best way to say it because that's unforeseen and it's planning to come in in some sort of way. And it's beautiful, okay? That's beautiful strength. Your, your heart is strength, man. You are, you have the courage of a lion, which is absolutely beautiful. And clarifying it's the last card there. And there's clarity on that whole reading. There's clarity on the whole reading. There's the Ace of Swords, or Ace of Swords is clarity. But the fact that you got that in the crown, which this part, this here is your connection to spirit. That's what I mean. This is the crown of the reading. It's also your conscious. That is your connection to spirit in the in itself. And spirit says you've got something coming into your future that you're gonna love, man. You really, really, really gonna love it. Really gonna love it. Oh, look, here he is again. It's you've got something coming into your future, which is divine. It's a divine soul in some sort of way, and it's gonna give justice to this idiot over here in itself. Now we're gonna turn this card. Now this has landed on your growth, the legacy, and the hard work you've put into your future. So let's have a look. You're gonna have victory going into your future. Your growth is your victory. Your growth is your victory. I'm telling you the truth. Your growth is your victory. See, it's landed on your growth. Your growth and the hard work that you've put onto your soul is why you're getting the Ten of Pentacles is because of all the shit you've put up with in the past and that's put down there. So it said, turn it right at the end. So there you go. You've got a victory and you've got to also understand that's a victory in itself too. This card here is a victory. And that's the best way to say that because it's a victory of clarity, but that's the triumphancy of victory. See your growth. Pause and reflect on how far you've come. To walk away from that stuff you are free to be you and unapologetically you and you have something beautiful coming in is you have wished big time for it and it is or it's going to be beautiful for you whatever this was from the past spirits dealing with that we have a lovely beautiful day take care and god bless